Hello, Gemini, Sun, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. For me as a reader, this represents the Six of Swords and Tarot. So you could be connecting with an Aquarius, possibly somebody who has an Aqua Moon placement. Not necessarily, right? It doesn't have to be the case. But this could represent a long-distance relationship for some of you. It could also represent moving on or moving past some sort of uh, conflict and or misunderstanding. But let's see what it's more so leaning towards. We're going to focus on you first, Gemini, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me and that's okay just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with how does gemini currently view this relationship for some of you you can be connecting with an aries i don't know why i'm getting aries all of a sudden anyways how does gemini currently view this relationship okay Ooh. all right we have the star we also have the Lovers, and then we also have the Two of Cups. You could be dealing with another Gemini, possibly even a Cancer, maybe even an Aquarius. So far, so good. How does this person currently view this relationship with Gemini? It's looking good, Gemini. It's looking really good. Why? Only two cards wanted to come out for you, and only two cards want to come out for them. That's interesting. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Strength card, and then we have a King of Cups. I love the King of Cups just as much as I love the King of Pentacles. The King of Cups is somebody who is emotionally mature. It's also somebody who has a whole lot of love to give. But whoever it is that you currently find yourself connecting with, I mean, I like it for the most part, and I kind of feel like you really do like this person, too. For some of you, with the lovers being out here, this could even represent a fairly new connection brewing here between you and another person. Of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be the case. The two of you could have known each other for quite some time, but for some of you, this is a fairly new connection here. But whoever this person is, man... I mean, this is somebody who's very confident within themselves and what it is that they bring to the table, which is something that I really do like. I just kind of feel like when it comes down to you specifically, you, Gemini, this person essentially feels like they could possibly have something long term with you. For the most part, I would go ahead and say that the feeling is essentially mutual between you and this person. With the star to the lovers to the two of cups being out here, I kind of feel like you've been waiting for someone like this to show up here for you. And the fact that they're finally showing up, it's causing you to essentially feel like you're wish is finally being granted um, especially when it comes down to like the type of person that you want in your life i kind of feel like this person has a lot that you're basically looking for hence why you feel uh, like your wish is essentially being granted here but so far so good gemini hopefully it continues to stay that way i mean this is somebody who's looking to settle down uh this is somebody who like i said overall just sees long term with you how does this person currently feel Ooh, this is interesting. We got the Five of Wands with the Queen of Wands. And then we also have the Ace of Wands. I feel like you're this Queen of Wands. Regardless of your gender, you could be a dude for all I know. But I kind of feel like this person in particular is a little bit territorial slash possessive over you that's one thing that i will say They're, they are slightly territorial and possessive over you gemini this person might have taurus in their chart or maybe even capricorn within their chart of course it doesn't necessarily have to be the case we could all harness you know any zodiac sign to be completely honest but yeah this is somebody who comes off to me as somebody who's like extremely territorial slash possessive over you um for some of you you might even get a lot of attention and if that is the case i don't necessarily feel like this person likes that um especially because again that this person is very territorial and, and possessive over you that that's one thing that i am kind of getting from this person in particular i also kind of feel like how do i say this I also kind of feel like this person gets easily jealous. That's another thing that I will say about this person in particular. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, for some some people, they like when people are extremely possessive and territorial over them. Some people don't. But that's kind of what I'm getting primarily from this person in particular, Gemini. So that might be a little bit of a downside, possibly, even for you. But yeah, this is somebody who's very possessive and very, very territorial over you. But like I said, for some of you, and I don't know if it's because you're highly attractive or it's because of your line of work or whatever have you, Gemini, but 
this is somebody who basically feels like you get a lot of attention or that there could even be like a lot of people after you or even interested in you, okay? And they don't necessarily like that. There's something about possibly either your line of work or you're just somebody who's highly attractive. And normally the Queen of Wands is somebody who's typically very, very attractive. Also somebody who's very, very irresistible. Um, but yeah, that is something that I am kind of picking up on from this person in particular. How does Gemini currently feel? Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. We also have the Two of Swords. And then we have the Six of Wands. I want to look at this Two of Swords really quickly. So I'm more about the Two of Swords. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. True pair situation uh, between you and this person. Jesus, I don't think I've ever seen this, actually. Look at this. We have the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Now we got the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. And then we have the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Empress with the damn Emperor. I've never fucking seen that in a reading before. That's, that's kind of crazy. All we're missing, honestly, is the king and the queen of swords that's about it that's the only yeah that's the only thing that we're honestly missing here the person that sits in the chariot is the emperor that's why i say it is a true pair situation the two of you for the most part are very 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 compatible to one another it's one thing that i will say that is one thing that i will say gemini i kind of feel like because of the connection that you share um with this person um you might at times feel like this whole entire situation is, is a little bit too good to be true. Um, and that might even cause you to kind of overthink things at times. That might even cause you to kind of question things along the way. Um, but I just honestly, I just kind of feel like you kind of found your match here, homie, is the best way I can kind of describe what it is I'm seeing. I don't think I've ever seen this in a reading before, no. I mean, you guys are showing up as a true pair one, two, three, four times. And like I said, the only thing that we're missing is the king and the queen of swords. Anyways, I want to kind of look into this person a little bit more, Gemini, um, because I feel like this person in particular, but because they feel such a strong and intense connection to you, Gemini, at times within this relationship, right, that the two of you share with one another, it does kind of cause this person uh, to kind of feel a little bit on edge, but I feel like that has a lot to do uh, with the simple fact that for some of you, you're either highly freaking attractive or because of your line of work, possibly, you might even get a lot of attention. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're very possessive and very, very territorial over you. It's, it's almost in a sense where they know that they kind of stumbled across gold here and the last thing that they want is for someone else to take you away from them. So like I said, this person at times is going to find themselves kind of feeling a little bit on edge about you and the relationship that they share with you. But that has a lot to do with the fact that they're very territorial and they're very possessive over you. Like this is that type of person that doesn't want absolutely anybody to touch you or anybody to have you. I mean, we get it. You belong to them. We understand all of that. But yeah, I mean, I just kind of feel like this is somebody who gets, um, how can I say this? They get easily triggered definitely like they get easily triggered like this is that type of person man that if this person just so happens to see another person hitting on you it's going to be world war fucking three like that's the kind of feel that this person essentially gives me anyways um tell me more about the five of wands i'm kind of curious let's see yeah i, I feel like this person hold on because i don't want to I don't want to be yelling at you guys. I kind of feel like this person doesn't necessarily like the fact that you have a lot of people um, after you. You know what's interesting is that I don't necessarily feel like this person has anything to worry about, especially because you come off to me as somebody who's very, very happy and very content with the relationship that you share with them. I kind of feel like you really only have eyes for this person in particular, regardless if they want to believe it or not. But yeah, I mean, this person feels like you have a lot of people after you. Gemini they do which is kind of making me feel like 
you're somebody who probably does get a lot of attention, whether that be because you're just highly fucking attractive and you're all that in a bag of chips, you know, um, or possibly because of your line of work. I mean, that could very well be a possibility, especially with the Six of Wands being out here and it came out twice. Um, that's somebody who gets a lot of attention, okay, uh, regardless if they mean to or not. I mean, the, the Queen of Wands attracts a lot of attention without even fucking trying you know and i kind of feel like you might just be that individual that attracts a lot of attention from a lot of people without even meaning to without even trying you catch my drift hopefully yes possibly maybe so but yeah this person feels like you have a lot of people after you regardless if that's true or not they basically feel like you do okay and they don't like it by the way they don't like it, it really does piss this person off what actions well, then I take towards this person or moving forward. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Devil. Jeez. With the Four of Swords. Why do I feel like this has everything to do with how this person's currently feeling? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Let's see. What actions? We have the Four of Swords. We got the Four of Pentacles. Okay. And then we also have Temperance. The bottom of the deck, we do have the King of Wands. We also have the Page of Pentacles to the Seven of Wands to the Ten of Cups to the Justice card. All right, let's talk about it. Um, like I said, the, the person that you're dealing with, uh, Gemini, they're a little bit batshit crazy, you know, over you. And I kind of feel like because they're a little bit batshit crazy over you, it tends to create a lot of tension at times between you and them, possibly even a lot of fighting and a lot of arguing. Um, I kind of feel like because this person feels the way that they feel about you and they, ate, and they are the way that they are with you, Gemini, I kind of feel like that's going to cause you to kind of pull away from this person. I don't necessarily feel like this is you, to be completely honest, bringing this relationship to an end, but I just kind of feel like, how do I say this? But I keep wanting to say that because they, they are the way that they are, right? I kind of feel like you don't necessarily like it. And like I said, some people, they really do like when people are extremely possessive and territorial over them. Um, and some people don't. And you just so happen to be that type of person that doesn't necessarily like that because you feel like it's bringing in a lot of toxicity um, and unnecessary chaos into your life, right? And you're entitled to feel that way. Um, I kind of feel like when this whole entire argument sparks here between you and them, because I feel like it is going to be an argument and it has a lot to do with the attention that you get or the amount of people that are after you because they feel threatened, okay, Gemini? More of the story is this person feels threatened. They feel like, you know, the right person can basically come along and take you away from them and they don't necessarily want that, okay? I also kind of feel like this person in particular, because they feel the way that they feel about you, they might even go as far as to like place a lot of restrictions on you. And the main reason why they would even do that is to avoid something from happening like you leaving them for someone else you know things of that nature and i don't necessarily feel like you're going to like it like i said you know some people love when people are extremely possessive and territorial over them and some people don't i don't necessarily feel like you do especially because i kind of feel like you've been in a relationship like that before obviously prior to this person where you were involved with somebody that was very possessive very territorial and then they started placing a shitload of restrictions on you and stuff like that that's just not something that you want to revisit more of the story and I kind of feel like because of your response and reaction to this person's way of being um it is going to force this person in a way to to kind of change their ways if they want to continue to be a part of your life and for the most part I kind of see this person like trying their hardest to to tame themselves in a way because they can basically see that you don't necessarily like it so they are going to try to tame themselves that's one thing that i will say we got to give this person that benefit of the doubt i mean temperance trumps the devil every single time which is kind of telling me that when you respond and react this way towards this person like as far as pulling away putting your foot down with this person like no i'm not going to put up with that it is going to force this person like i said to change their ways and and kind of tame themselves like we get it I think the whole world knows at this point in time that this person's a little bit batshit crazy um, over you, but they need to learn how to 
control themselves just a little bit because you don't necessarily like it. And I kind of see that, you know, in time, this person will learn um, to not be right as possessive and as territorial right when it comes down to you and i kind of feel like you know by them choosing to not be as territorial and as possessive over you as concerned it is going to bring a lot of balance into the situation um it is going to teach this person in a way um to not feel the need that they constantly have to be this way you know what i mean because i feel like this person's a little bit too fucking crazy over you to the point where I wouldn't be shocked. Like, I really wouldn't put it past this person if they turn around and start placing restrictions on you. Let's say for perfect example, Gemini, you know, you like to hang out with your best friend on the weekends, right? Hell, every Saturday, right? You guys like to go out, have your fun. This person may have a problem with that, right? Especially if they're not around you and it's just you and your best friend. They might have an issue with that. Hell, yes, they might. They might have an issue with that so much to the point where they might tell you, well, I don't I don't want you doing this, you know, like restrictions like that. But they're only placing these restrictions on you because they're trying to avoid something from happening, like you cheating on them, you leaving them, um, you entertaining someone else, things of that nature. But like I said, um, you're just not that type of individual, you know, to, to put up with that, especially because I feel like you have in the past with somebody that you were with, obviously, prior to this person. And that's something that you refuse to basically relive. And I completely understand that. But I feel like by you responding and reacting to this person, like as far as like putting your foot down is concerned um, and not allowing this person to come into your life and control you and things of that nature, it is going to force this person in a way to change their ways. But I kind of feel like it is going to essentially help the relationship um, and it's going to help this person uh, realize that they don't have to be this way you know what I mean like they don't have to be extremely possessive and territorial or even you know running around constantly worried that someone's going to come in and take you away from them, especially because if we're going just based off of how you feel and how you look at this person, you're, you're looking at this damn relationship and this person like they're a wish come true. Clearly they have everything that you're basically looking for within a person, you know what I mean? And that in itself, you know, should say a lot to this person in particular. Um, and unfortunately, I mean, to you know what, I feel like it does, but that's not the problem. This person's problem is, is that they don't want anybody coming you know, into your life and, and, and taking you away from, I mean, yeah, you away from them, but I don't necessarily feel like that's, that's going to happen, nor do I feel like this person has anything to worry about, but it is what it is. You know, this person is just a little bit too crazy about you, a little bit too crazy. We do have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Uh, that to me is like the two of cups in tarot. I kind of feel like what it is that the two of you share with one another, it's something very beautiful. It's something um, that obviously could lead to long term. Of course, that all depends on the both of you, like I always say. But listen, Gemini, this is kind of what you're working with right now. Somebody who is extremely territorial and extremely possessive over you. It's kind of... It, it, it it's kind of and I kind of feel like at times you might even be a little bit frightened by how freaking territorial and possessive this person might even be because I am kind of getting that for some of you where you might feel a little bit frightened by this by the fact that this person is the way that they are but like I said it, it's coming from a place of them trying to prevent something from happening like you cheating on them you leaving them things of that nature you entertaining somebody you know um but yeah th this 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 one over here is a little bit too fucking crazy but like i said i do see them toning it down that's my thing for the sake of the relationship and not wanting to lose you i do see them toning it down i really do i do see them doing that i'm not going to take that away from them but that's something that this person definitely needs to work on. I don't know if this person feels like they have to be this way um, in order to essentially prevent, you know, something from happening. But at the end of the day, people are going to do what they want to do, right? Regardless if you throw a bunch of restrictions on them or not, people are going to do what they're going to do, you know, or whatever it is that they want to do, you know? And I don't even feel like you have any sort of intentions of hurting this person or betraying this person or deceiving this person in any way, shape, or form. I honestly don't. I honestly don't but then again they may not seem to think so okay so you might be dealing also too with somebody who has major trust issues that that's one thing that i will say but they are a little bit batshit crazy i mean look look at this this is somebody who's extremely possessive and extremely territorial 
especially over you, Gemini. But like I said, I do see them toning it down, okay? So, um, I don't, like I said, I don't feel like this relationship is going to come to an end at all. I really, really don't. I kind of feel like the two of you are going to continue on in this relationship that the two of you currently share with one another. But it's something that obviously this person needs to work on. And unfortunately, Gemini, um, I don't think that you like the fact that they are the way that they are with you at times, especially because this person can kind of take it to the extreme at times and you don't like that. Um, and again, I kind of feel like for some of you, it kind of frightens you, you know, it really does kind of frighten you how possessive and, and territorial this person can be. For some of you, this could also represent seeing a whole new side to this person that you've never even seen before. So also keep that in mind. You've probably never even seen this damn person get this way, especially towards you. All right, you probably have never seen this person's territorial or even possessive side, especially because they go from the Ten of Pentacles to the Strength card to the King of Cups. That's somebody who feels, for the most part, pretty confident in themselves and what it is that they bring to the table. So the fact that they're kind of jumping into this overall energy, um, it, it's gonna, it's kind of making me feel like a lot of you haven't even seen this side to this person just yet. But, but you definitely will. That's besides the point. You definitely will, okay? So, Gemini, that's what I have for you. Hopefully, this reading resonates with you. Hopefully, it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.